Hi, this is Amanda Beck with Beck Bio. This video is on the special status species figure and it is part 11 of the Bio Report figures set of lessons. Figures should tell a story about your project site even without a write-up in your report. In this tutorial, I will discuss the purpose of special status plants and special status wildlife figures and I will go over what needs to be displayed on the figures and what needs to be listed within the legend. I will also show example figures and legends. Before I begin, I would just like to state that I am not a GIS analyst and I do not have ArcGIS. The figure and legend examples within this set of tutorials are all done on PowerPoint. What I discuss in this set of tutorials are just guidelines and suggestions. Please follow your company's guidelines for figures. The purpose of the special status plants and special status wildlife figures is to display the location of special status species determined to be present within your project site or biological study area, if you have one, during the biological field surveys. The figures can also depict the size and locations of special status plant populations and wildlife territories within the project site or BSA. This figure is required only if special status plants or wildlife were observed or detected during the biological field surveys. If none were observed or detected during the field surveys, then a figure is not required. Also, in some situations, a figure is not necessary because a species observed has a really low sensitivity status or just one or a few individuals were observed and the locations can easily be described within the body of the bioreport. For example, Allen's hummingbird and Nettles woodpeckers are birds of conservation concern. Both birds have a low sensitivity status and are common in California, so mapping them on a figure is not really necessary. Just describe the species location within the My Report. Depending on your situation, you can have a special status plants figure, a special status wildlife figure, both figures, or a combination figure called special status species, which shows both plants and wildlife together on one figure. These figures should be called out within the results section and more specifically within the plants and wildlife subsections of the report. The figures should be 11 by 17 and the base map must be a large scale aerial map. The figures should be the same size and scale as figure five, project boundary and biological study area. Show the project site boundary, limits, route or alignment, and the BSA boundary if you have one. Show the locations of the special status species that were observed or detected during the biological field surveys. Show locations of special status species as dots or symbols for individual species and observations, and polygons for populations and territories. Each plant and animal should have its own distinct dot, symbol, and color. Next, I'm going to show you examples of special status species figures. Note, each project is fictitional and these figures are just done on PowerPoint so they are not the sharpest. I also don't have the layers that I could turn on and off, so these examples are missing a few features. Here is an example special status plants figure with symbols for the observations. This fictitional project is outlined in red, is located within Alamos Canyon, and each Catalina Mariposa lily population are depicted with yellow diamonds. The estimated number in the population is written right next to each diamond. You can also show each plant population as a polygon. Here is an example special status wildlife figure. Small mammal trapping surveys were conducted and the results are shown here. As you can see, two sensitive species were trapped. The northwestern San Diego pocket mouse, depicted with orange triangles, and the Los Angeles pocket mouse, depicted with yellow stars. Here is another example special status wildlife figure but for animal territories. Three years of surveys were conducted in 2018, 2020, and 2021. In 2018, two pairs of coastal California gnatcatchers were present within the project site and each pair had established a territory. Pair number one's territory is mapped as a blue polygon and pair number two's territory is mapped as a yellow polygon. In 2020, one gnatcatcher pair was observed and has established a territory within the project site. That territory is mapped as a pink polygon. In 2021, 
Three separate male gnat catcher observations were made within the project site. However, no gnat catcher territories were established. Include within the legend the name of the project, North Arrow, scale, figure number, figure name, and the company name or logo. Include an inset map of the county the project is in or an inset map of Northern, Central, or Southern California with a project location text box and arrow pointing to the project site location. Include the project site boundary, limits, route, or alignment, and if you have a BSA, include it in the legend with the BSA measurement. Finally, include everything that is displayed on the main map, such as county boundaries and special management area boundaries. Finally, include the list of special status plants and wildlife shown on the figure, each with a distinct colored symbol, dot, or polygon. Here's an example legend for a special status plants figure. It has everything that I just described on the previous slides. The legend shows Inyo County Mariposa lily populations as blue four-point stars and individual sightings of Owens Valley checkerbloom as pink triangles. Here is an example legend for a special status wildlife figure. Individual observations of southwestern willow flycatchers are purple diamonds, pink stars for LBVs, yellow circles for gnat catchers, and rat icons for SKRs. Thank you for watching this video. Please move on to part 12, which deals with the jurisdictional areas figure.